Welcome to Mind My Xbox 360. Today we're going to show you how to inject Deadly Fishes mods into Grand Theft Auto 4 original. So the first thing you're going to need is all the files in the link, or in the links that I've included. So you're going to need the original mods from Deadly Fishes, you're going to need a GTA backup, um, you can just use any ISO file that you find that's original and an image file from Deadly Fish's web website. And those are all the files you need, and you need Image Burn and Xbox Backup Creator. So go ahead and open up Xbox Backup Creator. Go to Image Tools. Go to Image Browser. Select File and open Image File. Now navigate to your backup copy of Grand Theft Auto 4 original. So mine would be over here and mine would be this. Alright so this opens up your your image file. So the first thing you want to replace is common.rpf. So you're going to right click it, replace, and find the mod file that you downloaded from Deadly Fish's website. So in my case it would be over here, and then select the common.rpf. So let that do it. And the next thing you're going to need to do is xbox360.rpf, and Deadly Fishes mods, um, they called it Xbox 360 Map Mod Collection for Original. So just like that. All right, now that now that that's done, um, go on the left side menu and go to Xbox 360. Go to Data and Maps and East. So these um, image files over here, you're gonna want to uh, replace a few of them that are included with Deadly Fish's image files. So we'll start with this one and find it in the file that you downloaded. See there's E, M, and W. So I'll start with E. M. and W. Then go to Jersey and select the first one, replace it, and you'll have one, two, and five that you need to replace. Next, go to Manhattan, or Manhattan, whatever, and you're going to want to replace the first one, uh, 1, 2, 8, 9, and 11. And after you have finished that, that is it for 
injecting the files. So you can just close the image, X out here, X out of Xbox Backup Creator, and go to Image Burn. So first of all, you need to go to Tools, Settings, and make sure these settings look right, like how I have them. And the only thing you really need to change is go to right, and for layer break, um, you need to select user specified, and you need to enter in 1913760. I'll include that in the description. And press OK. Then write image file to disk. Select your ISO file, and it'll be the file that you've just modded. And I don't have disk in right now because I've done it before. But all you have to do is put your dual layer disk in, uh, preferably verbatim, and just click burn. And it'll take about 40 minutes. And then you're all ready to hot swap. Or if you have a flashed Xbox 360, you can use that and just plug in and play. So this concludes the tutorial on how to inject Deadly Fishes mods for Grand Theft Auto 4 Original. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and please subscribe. Alright, thanks.